Charles Barkley. Mm. You know, I've been watching Charles Barkley in the NBA and on NBA TNT for years and years and years. I'll be I'll be re- really honest with you guys about that. But what I just heard him say was one of the dumbest things I've ever heard him say. Ever. Let me talk about it. This is DJ Wolf Live. All right, guys. Um, I got to talk about this right quick. Um, Charles Barkley. Great NBA player, noted big mouth, noted stick his foot in his mouth, takes it out, he's still funky as hell, and I don't mean that in a good way either, <clears throat> but his stuff come out real, for lack of a better word, shitty, no matter what, because he might have topped almost anything he said, especially in it, it, with this mess going on. He I, he, he just liked to, I don't. He just like people to talk about him. I think that's the reason why he does. He say a lot of stupid shit that he says. Um, it was, and I, I just heard it on satellite radio. He recently came out and said one of the dumbest things I've ever heard anybody say since this best all this mess been going on for the past year. He said. That with all the taxes NBA players pay, this is what he actually said. With all the taxes NBA, um, with all the taxes NBA players pay out here, that they should have preferential treatment in getting the Corona vaccination. I'm pausing for effect because I'm like, did he really say that shit? Yeah, he actually said that. Let me say it again. Charles Barkley, I don't know, I, I think he was on NBA on TNT, was saying that these NBA players that I am now should have preferential treatment because they pay a lot of taxes and should uh, get preferential treatment when it comes to getting the, the vaccination over everybody. That's what he said. He said, now what he said, preferential treatment. I'm not sure what else he's talking about, but that. He has got to be one of the world's biggest idiots. <laughs> he is. He has got to be one of the world's biggest idiots ever. He must be friends with Donald Trump. Because that's who it sounds like every time he opens up his mouth. Matter of fact, I think he's a staunch Republican, if I'm not mistaken. You know, because Republicans, they, and, 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 and I'm not really being biased because you got Democrats do the same thing, aka Kamala Harris. Um, they speak out of their ass. You know, they, they don't use their brains when they talk. At least not most of the ones I've seen. They just throw shit up in the air and see where it sticks. That's Mitch, the Mitch McConnell. That's John Bonner from Ohio. That's uh, Trump and a whole bunch of other Republicans, including Charles Barkley, who I think is a Republican dumbass. You know, they say stupid stuff. They get attention. You know, to be popular. That's Donald Trump in a nutshell. You know, and. But yet, these are the same people who say this stupid stuff are the same people who don't even wear masks. These are the same people. The reason why this COVID spread as far as wide as it did because those are the same people who didn't uh, follow the directions but want the gratification of uh, getting the vaccination. Oh, I deserve credit for getting the vaccination. Because I have preferential treatment because I pay taxes. 
So if you ain't paying taxes like they are paying taxes, you deserve to be in the back of the line, regardless of what your situation is. Preferential, and they want, he said they should get preferential treatment and be alert. That's what he said. Over doctors, the elderly, school age kids, and first responders? Are you serious? Yeah. This is how arrogant the Republican Party has always been. Joe Biden was talking about the other day uh, regarding the riot, talking about we're, uh, this is not who we are. No, that's who you've always been. Racist. And that goes for Sleepy Joe, too. You know? That's how these uh, uh, WPs have always been. They've always been this way. Nothing's changed. It's just amplified. That's all. What happened January 6th was amplified. To the entire world, all over again. That's all. You've always been that way. It just came out of hiding. That's all. You know, nothing new about it under the sun. Not a damn thing. Y'all have always been racist. You've always been biased towards blacks. You've always said shit under your breath towards uh, African Americans. You've always done it. You know. You've made a mockery of of, 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 of uh, other races besides other yourself. You know, you always have. You know, definitely done it with us forever in a day. You know, y'all have no respect. You don't. You really don't. You know, it may be time for me, guys, uh, to do uh, my first live podcast of 2021. I haven't done one in, in really about a month of Sundays. It, it may be due. You know, I, I think I'm going to do one between now and MLK Day. Matter of fact, for certain, I'm going to do one on MLK Day. I got to because I got a lot to say. You know, because we are within days of uh, of uh, in the inauguration of the new president, a.k.a. Sleepy Joe Biden. Sleepy Joe. The one you know. But he don't even look sleepy, though. I mean, I'm serious. I hope everything is, is well with him. I really do. But he be looking sleepy as I don't know what. I really do. I don't know if he's mixed or something, but he does look, he does look sleepy a lot. You know, he squishes. I think, and maybe it's the light. Maybe I, I'll give benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's the light that reflects on him when he's talking. You know, because I, I, I've worked with spotlights before like that, and, and and maybe that could be the reason why why he squints like that. I just thought about that. I, I'm surprised he have a hard. He, he don't have a hard time reading a teleprompter prompter because of that. You know, but you know, nevertheless, though. Um. I, I don't know. Oh, they're supposed to be interviewing Kamala Harris, uh, I think, on CNN this weekend. I'm going to have to check it out and let you guys get back with you guys, let you know, because I'm going to definitely do a live podcast. I, I just thought about that. Um, it's got to happen, especially with, this, with, the, with the climate of the country right now, with this mess going on with this, um, getting all these uh, guardsmen out here and stuff to protect the, uh, the area, running around the capital and all that. And um, it, it's mighty funny. People, these all these organizations are still blaming each other for what happened out there. You know, they're all at fault, as far as I'm concerned. They're all at fault. All the over the organizations that should have known about it and they did know about it all dropped the ball at the same time, as far as I'm concerned. Ain't no one particular organization fault. It was all their fault. Bottom line. Oh, um. I'm going to actually do another podcast uh, regarding my music. I've actually, if you noticed, if you hadn't noticed already, I've put out several, uh, several beats out there. Probably about, I think about maybe about a dozen or so. And uh, if you want to hear more of them, I got because I got a bunch more than that. I got a lot more where that came from. On SoundCloud.com forward slash DJ Wolf AKM. And you'll find me. I got a bunch of my music out there. 
Now, for those of you if you hadn't already known or didn't already know, I'm not just a podcaster. I'm not just a YouTuber, blogger rather, YouTube blogger. I'm also do I also I'm a beat producer. Yes, I am. I do do beats. Um, I plan on doing a lot more this year. I, I said I was going. This was one of my goals. I was going to do a lot more beats this year. But now, but what I'm working with now, I may be doing more. Uh, may be working on some songs. That's my ultimate goal. Not just to do beats. And I love doing beats. My, my, my ultimate goal is to do songs. So at some point, I will. Hopefully, I have enough time to do it. You know, the time's the best. The time's everything. You know? Day and age. Why don't you have electricity? That's what you want, right? Anyway, so, uh, but I'm gonna talk more about that in uh, DJ Wolf's uh, music box. I was also thinking about creating a separate uh, channel for that. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I gotta figure it out because a lot of my music is on here, and I don't really mind it. But then again, I, I wanted to create a separate channel. There actually is a music. Channel. I mean, as a music uh, YouTube has a separate music uh, app, but I never use it. I don't know if there's a way I could put my music on that specific one or not. I'd have to look into it. That's another story, though. But anyhow, um, busy as hell like for Friday. But I hope you like my music. Actually, some beats are better than others. Matter of fact, some beats are even are greater than others. At least all the ones I've done. And. Uh, but I've done about a dozen or so of them. There's three particular ones I really, really love. Maybe about, actually about maybe five or six that I think are really, really good. And at least three that, that could go commercial. If I was, you know, if I had the, the means of getting it commercially out there, I would. They were, they were commercial ready for I'm concerned. But, um, let me know. If you are interested in me creating beats for you, uh, let me know, uh, DJ Wolf Live at AOL.com. DJ Wolf Live at AOL. DJ Wolf Live at AOL.com. DJ Wolf Live at AOL.com. Um, because I do, I am doing them now. Uh, let me go ahead and save that for my uh, next podcast, uh, which would be uh, DJ Wolf's Music Box. And I want to talk a lot more about that. I have some, uh, other plans on couple of things I want to do musically and I'm considering uh, getting, acquiring uh, the machine plus, but I'm going to talk more about that, I'm, I'm, I'm in a quandary about because I do like it, but I, I, I'll talk more about that on that, but <sighs> Charles Barkley this dude, that's where <laughs> unbelievable what he said I, I'm so offended by it I really am He's a complete idiot. You know, he just he, he, he just put he don't he can't put two cents together to figure it out. Speaking of that, I'm out.